Hey everybody, it's Kent. I got a nice early start here on a Friday morning. I'm running down to Madison to look at some books here quick this morning. Check. It is 5.02. Normally I get up at about 5 a.m. So I had to get a little bit of an early start. Got my shipping done. Got everything ready to go. Got the boxes uh, loaded in the car. And I am heading south. It's about a two and a half hour drive. Um, gonna need to hustle so I can hopefully uh, get back uh, and hopefully not open the store too late this morning and hopefully end up with a carload of books, but I'll keep you posted. Hey everybody, it's Kent. So I'm back. I ended up with about 25 boxes of books. I actually went to uh, UW-Madison. The egg department was getting rid of thousands of books. Um, so I went down and filled my car full, uh, made a donation and got two parking tickets, uh, one for $30, one for $40, but I didn't get towed. So that's a plus. Um, so I'm going to show you some of the books. I got huge runs of different uh, magazines and journals and then also some kind of vet and science and chemistry related books as well. So I'm going to show you those. These are uh, these two piles are starting on Friday, November 1st, and then I'll probably make a couple more videos showing uh, the books that are starting the days after that. So here we go. Let me slide these a little closer for you. Uh, up first, we have the Journal of Dairy Science 1943. I don't think this one has too many illustrations, but lots of cool uh, dairy science facts and research and statistics. Sorry for the bad lighting. Uh, up next, we got Poultry Science Magazine, 1955, magazine or journal, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is actually a Canadian publication. Interesting, I'm sure, everything you need to know about poultry science. Uh, here we have the Michigan Board of Agriculture Report, 1910. show you that one. Uh, and the 23rd Annual Report of the Experiment Station. Uh, again, published in 1910. Everything you need to know about uh, livestock and crops and gardening, uh, poultry, horses, cattle, swine, all that fun stuff. Uh, we've got another poultry science uh, journal from 1950. Uh, we have Linton's Animal Nutrition and Veterinary Dietetics. Dietetics, however you say that word. So again, these are all starting on November 1st. Uh, that's a Friday, 99 cent auctions. I'm eBay seller animal at 52. The Inheritance of Acquired Characteristics by Dr. Paul Kammerer, translated by A. Paul uh, Mayer Kerr Brandon, illustrated. I think this is 1924. Yep, copyright 1924. Uh, lots of cool... Uh, Biology and scientific uh, illustrations. I'm, I'm gonna show you. There's some really cool uh, illustrations of reptiles and insects and birds and stuff like that. Cool book on uh, genetics and heredity. I think there were some butterfly illustrations as well. Somewhere. Nope, there's a frog, tadpole. Uh, a report of the Bureau of Animal Industry for the year 1904. This one has a bunch of uh, illustrations. Uh, we've got two copies of two different editions of this one, Poultry Breeding and Management. Uh, by James Dryden Illustrated. This is the 1938 edition. And again, there's uh, a few hundred illustrations in this book. Uh, coops and incubators and eggs. And then there's a bunch of different uh, illustrations on the breeds of chickens. That's a really great one. Uh, and then I think this is the first edition of the same book. Uh, this one was published in 1916. Again, highly illustrated. Very excited. If you're into poultry books, I have poultry books for you. What's New in Farm Science, uh, 1959 to 1962. This was a, a little um, brochure, pamphlet type thing, but there's a bunch of them bound together. And again, uh, there's stuff on crops and gardening, livestock and poultry, um, machinery, tools, that kind of stuff. Forestry, there's a bunch of different stuff on forestry as well. Scientific feeding of animals uh, by Professor O. Kellern. 
uh, translated by William Go Goodwin, 1910. Who's Who in the Hatchery World, 1944. Cool book on uh, hatchery and chickens and eggs. Uh, lots of great ads, but this is just a directory of all the uh, big names in the uh, hatchery world in 1944. Give you a close-up. All right. Uh, veterinary Materia Medica and Therapeutics. This one's from 1906. Cool book on veterinary medicine. Uh, by uh, Kennel Kenelm Will Wi Winslow, uh, published in 1906. Again, all kinds of really cool uh, pharmacy type stuff in here. Sorry for the crazy lighting in this video. Uh, towards the fall and winter, the sun shines right through my front door, and then I take pictures of books back there, uh, so the light uh, is very. Very not ideal uh, in the fall and winter. All right, uh, next we have, I have big runs of like, so here's the poultry, the Pacific poultryman uh, related to Western poultry farming, uh, 1962 and then also 1966. Um, I probably have at least a dozen of this one, uh, different years of this, the, po the Pacific poultryman, the Pacific edition of the Poultry Tribune. And again, everything you need to know about chicken farming and egg laying and incubators and tools and supplies. Very cool. So we got this one, 1965, and then we got also January to December, 1966. Uh, again, we, uh, we got the Poultry Tribune. Um, we got the Eastern Edition from 1960, and then the Southwest Edition from 1959. And again, I have big runs of most of these magazines. Uh, some as early as the 1930s up till kind of the 1960s, 1970s. Uh, great, um, interesting scientific uh, farming books. Uh, we got Poultry International, 1972. Ultraviolet rays, check Newcastle disease. Um, I would say a majority of the books are poultry books, but there's also some cattle. Um, there's some turkey ones. The Poultry Supply Dealer, 1939. This one's really cool. Again, you even got the front covers bound in. That's kind of cool. Sometimes those get removed uh, when the books are bound together. And again, all kinds of great ads on feeds and medicine. different tools and stuff that were used in the industry at that time. Uh, we got poultry processing and marketing, 1960. Again, I will probably make a video tomorrow as well showing you the different books that I list. Um, tomorrow uh, will be probably more um, animal science, veterinary stuff, uh, biology, chemistry, zoology, uh, maybe some genetic stuff in there as well. Uh, we got the American Poultry Journal, the Eastern Edition, 1944. So kind of for the New England States area, uh, January 1944. And again, you got the covers bound in as well. That's kind of nice. And again, all kind of great ads and articles in all of these books. I'm definitely uh, swamped with poultry books for a while. Another American Poultry Journal, 1943. We have Hatchery World 1954, that's a different one. Hatchery World, serving the hatchery industry since 1923. This is the 1954, I believe this is January through December. And again, lots of great uh, farming articles in here and ads. All right, we got the broiler industry, 1964. Again, most of these are January through December compilations of all the magazines. The business management magazine of the broiler industry. Uh, we got the feed and farm supplier. Got a bunch of these. This is the 1961 edition, uh, but I have a huge lineup of these. Again, all kinds of great uh, farming ads in here.
we have the feed bag, 1937. Uh, we have Grain Age 1963. Uh, marketplace of the Grain, Storage and Merchandising Industry. So again, interesting book related to uh, grain farming, crop farming. Uh, another copy of the Feed Bag, this one's 1949. And Last two, we have the Ayrshire Record, Volumes 8. I think these are both 1930s. That one's 1935. I think this one's 1932. Um, so, yeah, lots of this stuff. I have huge runs of a lot of these magazines. So, if you're looking for duplicates or extras or certain years, send me a message. Otherwise, watch out for these on eBay November 1st. It's a Friday. Have a great day. All right, welcome back. Um, these books are going to be starting November 3rd. Uh, I think that's a Monday or maybe a Sunday. I think it's a Sunday. Uh, the Bacteriophage and Its Behavior by F. Da Harrell, translated by George H. Smith, 1926. Cool book on microbiology and bacteria. No, actually, I think bacteriophage, I think, are viruses, not bacteria. Uh, next, we have Vocational Chemistry. This one's pretty cool. Uh, Vocational Chemistry for Students of Agriculture and Home Economics by John J. Williamman with 70 illustrations, 1921. Uh, lots of cool stuff on uh, farming and metalwork and foundry and different uh, industri industrial stuff. Creative Chemistry. Creative Chemistry, Descriptive of Recent Achievements in the Chemical Industries by Edwin E. Slauson, Illustrated, 1921. Uh, we have an old obstetrics book, uh, Cyclopedia of Obstetrics and Gynecology, Volume 5, uh, with Gynecological Diagnosis, General Gynecological Therapeutics, and Electricity in Gynecology and Obstetrics, 1887. That one's illustrated as well. Um, actually, I don't think there's anything too graphic in this one, so I can show you. There's tons and tons of uh, obstetric tools in this one. Mm, somewhere, there you go. There's some more illustrations. Lots of great illustrations in this one. Nothing too graphic. Uh, principles of breeding. I think this one is related to animal science and botany. Uh, a treatise on thermatology or the principles and practices of uh, involved in the economic improvement of domesticated animals and plants by E. Davenport with an appendix by R. L. Wright. Uh, copyright 1907. Uh, next, we have the first course in zoology, a textbook of for secondary schools, normal schools, and colleges by Thomas Walton Galloway with 240 illustrations, published in 1906. Very cool uh, zoology textbook. There you go. What is that? Looks like a vertical section through the arm and an end of radius of a starfish, so a starfish arm, cross section of a starfish arm. Pretty cool. Animal breeding. I think I have two different editions of this. Animal breeding by A.L. Hagedorn uh, with a forward by John Hammond. I think these are both from the 1940s. This one's 1948. And I think this one's 1947. Uh, Chemical Constitution and Physiological Action by Professor Dr. Leopold Spiegel. Translated from the German by C. Ludking and A. C. Boylston, 1915. Cool chemistry textbook. Uh, I think this one's chemistry as well. Essentials. Oh, no, this is immunology. Uh, the Essentials of Im Immunology for Medical Students by Arthur F. Coco, uh, 1925.
Here we have bioenergetics and growth with special reference to the efficiency complex in domesticated animals by Samuel Brody, 1945. I feel like you have to be very intelligent to understand any of these books. Local, local immunization, specific dressings by Professor A. Brez, Brez, Bre, Besedric, Bes, no, Besredka, Bes, Besredka, uh, edited and translated by Dr. Harry Plotz, 1927. All right, last one for this pile. And I just got one more pile, and that will be the end of the video. I think I have about 10 more. Actually, I can take you over there. Um, the Chemical Aspects of Immunity by F. Gideon Wells, 1925. I'm going to take you over here quick. Uh, these are the ones, the last of them that I'm working on listing. Meat Hygiene, Microbiology of Foods, General Bacteriology. We got Parasitology. Uh, what does that say? Biochemistry, animal biology, you and hereditary, zoology, and da, 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 pathogenic organisms. Uh, so those are going to be on the fourth, um, but these are the rest of them that are going to be on the third. But I figured I'd show you that little stack quick. Another immunology book. Uh, the Principles of Immunology by Howard T. Karsner and Enrique E. Ecker, illustrated. 1921. Not too many illustrations in that one, but it is illustrated according to the title page. Uh, Immunity in Natural Infectious Disease by F. De Harrell, uh, authorized English edition by George H. Smith, 1924. Ooh, this one's pretty cool. Veterinary Physiology. The Essentials of the Physiology for Veterinary Students by D. Noel Patton, 2nd edition, 1916. And this one's nicely illustrated. Again, these will all be listed on the 2nd through the 4th of November. Comparative Anatomy and Vertebrates by J.S. Kingsley with 346 illustrations, 1912. Canned Food Reference Manual. I have two editions of this. This is the third edition, 1947. Goes up to the title page. The Canned Food Reference Manual by the American Can Company. Lots of interesting uh, statistics and uh, reference for canning. Very scientific uh, reference book there. Um, there's another 1940s edition of it. Nutritional Physiology. Uh, Nutritional Physiology by Percy Goldthwaite Stiles, 4th edition, 1922. And then this is just another edition of that same one. This is 2nd edition, 1916. And they're both illustrated. The Guide to the Study of Animal Parasites by William A. Riley and Reed O. Christensen, 1st edition, 1930. This one has a few illustrations. All right, we have Genetics in Relation to Agriculture by Ernest Brown Babcock and Roy L. Wood Clausen, 2nd edition, 1927. Uh, there's some illustrations in that related to plants and animal science. Uh, Genetics and Eugenics, a textbook for students of biology and a reference books for animal and plant breeders by W.E. Castle, 1924. Looks like this one is very nicely illustrated as well. Uh, the 53rd Annual Report of the Secretary of the State of Agriculture of the State of Michigan and the 27th Annual Report of the experiment station uh, from 1913 to 1914. And here we have the agriculture experiment station of UW Wisconsin, or sorry, the University of Wisconsin, 1913 to 1914. 
Disinf uh, Disinfection and Sterilization by Ernest C. McCulloch, illustrated and copyright 1936. All right, just a few more here. Physiology and Biochemistry of Bacteria by R. E. Buchanan and L. S. I. Fulmer, 1928. We have recent studies in avian biology. Let's see, edited by Albert Wolfson, published in 1955. And last one, we have Catalytic Action. Catalytic Action by K. George Falk, published in 1922. Very cool. All right, well, thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Hey, everybody, it's Ken. So I'm back from my trip already. It's a little afternoon. Uh, so the UW-Madison uh, egg department was getting rid of some books. Uh, they were giving them away, and if I didn't pick them up or someone else didn't pick them up, they're going to be throwing them away. But I made a donation, and I got about 25 boxes of books. Uh, lots of stuff on poultry, some crop farming kind of stuff. Uh, I'm going to unload them some quick, pick out a few to get listed right away. Um, but I just need to get them unloaded and get back to work. As you can see, I got a tiny little bit of space in my storage shed, uh, which I've just been working on cleaning out for a, I got a couple other potential um, crazy projects coming up. Up first, we got a bunch of these uh, Pacific Poultry Men magazines. These are from, uh, I think the 1950s, 1960s, really cool stuff. Tons and tons and tons of poultry stuff. And again, I have probably have like 10 or 15 of those. So I'm gonna start with trying two of them on eBay. Um, don't want to flood the market. Uh, next, let's see what we got. Um, looks like we got some old USDA reports. Um, we got the annual report of the Bureau of Animal Industry, 1904. We got the Michigan Board of Agriculture, 1910. Um, so there's a lot of runs of different journals, the poultry type journals, but then there also are some um, miscellaneous, lots and lots of, I mean, it's all animal science. Uh, we got some Ayrshire, Ayrshire records, some cattle records. Um, I'm not sure when those are from. Uh, looks like 1920s and 1930s. Going to go put those on the pile to be listed right away. These are cool, the feed bag. This is the feed bag, 1949, um, a magazine from 1949. I think this is more related to crop growing and uh, I suppose growing feed for animals as well. I'm gonna put that on the pile to list right away. Let's see, grain age, 1963. This one is uh, pretty cool. Everything you need to know about farming and machinery and grains and uh, crop prices, stuff like that. Put that on the pile. Again, all of this stuff's for sale. I'm sure I'll be selling it over the next several months. Uh, also, I'm working on buying some other collections as well, so I'm busy as ever. Uh, we got Poultry Science 1955. Sorry, uh, the light is very bright in here. So I'll probably grab that one and then grab a 1950 one as well. Put that on the pile. Uh, I think I'm scheduled to the end of next week. So depending when you're watching this video, this stuff will be up for auction. End of next week, into the week after that. Oh, this was a full load. My Jeep is completely full. Uh, and these books are extremely heavy. Uh, we got the Poultry Tribune. Okay, we got the Eastern Edition and the Southwest Edition, 1959-1960. Let's get those listed right away. Uh, again, these are pretty heavy books and media mail prices keep going up and up and up. So um, the heavier stuff might cost 10, 11, 12 bucks a piece to ship. Alright, what do we 
we got here we got oh poultry supply dealer these are super duper cool let's see 1939 poultry supply dealer tons and tons of cool interesting ads and equipment and supplies in this book that one's going on the pile of the list uh, we got the American egg and poultry review I'm gonna put this one leave that in the box mostly because I just uh, don't feel like shipping that big bugger right now um, we got poultry processing and marketing 1960 put that on the pile so yeah I'm gonna be overwhelmed with uh, poultry books the next probably two months uh, we got loads and loads of the USDA farmers bulletins yeah the US extension office bulletins um, what do we got? We got chickens and their diseases in Hawaii. Um, they're not all poultry related. I think there's uh, different crop ones as well, but there's a few hundred of those. Um, I think I will probably be doing lots of those. I'm um, doing bundles of them. Oh, we got the Journal of Dairy Science, 1943, World War II era dairy science. I don't think that one has tons of illustrations, but lots of great uh, dairy science content in there. Uh, what are these? We got the Hatchery World, 1954, 1955. Maybe I'll grab one of those. Again, it's all really cool stuff. If you don't know, I... Um, I was an animal science major for two years in River Falls. This was in Madison. Uh, I wanted to be a vet, but I'm not smart enough to be a vet, so I switched to business. Um, and yeah, I started collecting old uh, farming and vet books, in, probably in middle school. Um, and that's how I got into books and just turned it into a full-time book business. Poultry books, poultry breeding and management. We'll put that on the pile. Uh, we got Who's Who in the Hatchery World, 1944. I think I got a few of those from the 1940s. Uh, this is a box of miscellaneous stuff. Principles of immunology and the immunity in natural infectious diseases. Um, this is a lot of miscellaneous science stuff. General zoology, disease of the horse. Um, again, USDA publication there. Veterinary Materia Medica and Therapeutics. That one's pretty cool. It's all very cool stuff. And uh, yeah, it was free. They're going to throw the rest away or throw some of it away. Um, but I still ended up making a donation. And I got two parking tickets. So that wasn't ideal. And here comes my brother. Should we say hi to my brother? I'm making a YouTube video. Yep. I'll come visit with you in a minute. Uh, scientific feeding of animals. There's lots of really cool disease of the horse again USDA yearbook uh, The inheritance of acquired characteristics poultry breeding and management. Maybe I'm gonna I'm gonna take that whole bundle um, Those will all be in the first couple days of eBay listings of this stuff Again, this is um, probably um, couple weeks but I'm slowly gonna filter over uh, filter through the stuff because there's like 20 of the poultry world magazines so I don't want anyone to get overwhelmed with uh, duplicates of stuff again more avian biology catalytic action there's some chemistry stuff lots of interesting chemistry stuff vocational chemistry I'm sure there'll be probably 15 or 20 books on chemistry physiology and biochemistry of bacteria animal biology disinfectants and sterilization all right well you get the idea I'm gonna I'm gonna pull out a few more boxes get this unloaded
All right, we got a big old box of poultry science. Was that one that I already... Yeah, I think I already got a box of poultry science. So I'm gonna leave those for later. Here we got the Poultry Tribune. I think I already yeah, pulled out a couple of those. I got a big box, probably about, I don't know, 15 more of the Poultry Tribune. Um, a lot of stuff I grabbed was from the 1930s to 1950s and 60s-ish. There's some later stuff, some earlier stuff. All right, new pile. What do we have? We have the Broiler Industry Magazine, 1964. Again, it's all really great uh, poultry. Oh, check out the ads and the color illustrations. Putting that on the pile. And again, I probably have a dozen of the Broiler Industry Magazines. I definitely got a good workout in this morning. More poultry science. Uh, science report, what's new in farm science. That one's kind of cool, the what's new in farm science. I really like those, 1959-1962. Throw that on the pile. Again, if you don't know, I'm eBay seller Animal Vet 52. It was a full load. I probably could have fit two or three more boxes in the uh, front seat, but um, it was a heavy load, so. We got the Michigan State Board of Agriculture, 1924. Uh, we got some more Pacific poultry men. Save those for later. All right, we got a big, heavy box of something. These books are unbelievably heavy. Oh, the Farm and Feed Supplier. These are really cool. I'm really excited about these. I think my customers are going to love them. That is the uh, Feed and Farm Supplier 1961. I'm very excited about those. And again, I got about a dozen of them. Uh, probably from the mostly the 50s and 60s. Oh man, every time I make uh, room in my storage shed, it gets filled right back up. Uh, we got Hatchery Tribune. I forget if I already set one of those aside. Uh, the feed bag, these are kind of cool. Maybe I already set one of these aside. I don't remember. Set another one aside, I guess. Put it on the pile. Got a big box uh, poultry supply dealer. Did I already set one of those aside? Yep, I think I did. So you got a bunch more of those. Again, if you're looking for poultry and animal science books, I got a lot of them. We got the American Poultry Journal, Eastern and Western again, 1944, 1945. Um, I don't remember if I had any of those, so I'm gonna put them on the pile of stuff to list right away. Oh, Poultry International. I don't think I've showed you any of those yet. That's going on the pile. All right, well, I only got like five or six more boxes. You get the idea. Lots of great vintage publications. Uh, eBay sell Animal Vet 52. Check them out.